Good morning, folks. Huge thanks for the like button bonanza yesterday. Can't imagine how that helps. Today, we've got some core updates and breadcrumbs to further study, and we're starting with spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on our star relatively quiet. The coronal hole turning through is covering an enormous portion of that heliographic longitude, and the impact from it should occur in about two days. The phi angle flip in the solar wind precedes the coronal holes, and the co-rotating density and magnetic shift in the plasma stream is already sparking minor geomagnetic unrest. Yellow bars at the bottom, due to the turning over of the magnetic angle in the solar wind, seen in the blue panel up top. Now, a point of frustration. NASA's 100% computer-generated endless spiral says a CME is coming on October 20th. Very small, but dead center hit. This is not real. There is no such CME. This happened with their automatic program last sunspot cycle as well, and NOAA's endless spiral confirms nothing is coming this way. There's a human checking that one. Of course, the irony is we do expect to inclement space weather on October 20th, but due to the coronal hole stream, not a CME that doesn't exist. 211 angstroms, we can see the full extent of that coronal hole as it crosses over towards the departing hemisphere. Seismicity up next, and the second 4.6 is struck La Palma. If you're following the eruptive increase at the volcano, I hope you can tell how it's tracking with seismic magnitude. Largest of the last day was a six-pointer at Blot Echo Depths in Vanuatu, and another rare location swarm, this one in West Texas, and for those wondering how close those were to Bezos Bug Out Mountain, that is about right here. Now let's move next to a solar climate forcing note. There have been so many confirmations of solar control over El Nino and La Nina that it's one of the solar forcing aspects, not even the IPCC questions anymore. It's one of the ways the sun's fingers work so many aspects of the weather and climate, and here, it's a fully detailed and extremely impressive correlation breakdown over all the harmonics and oscillations. Up next, folks, it's been a couple of months since we updated the Earth's rotation speed because it pretty much stabilized. The last couple of days, there's actually been a bit of a surge in speed, bringing the estimated year now in at over 70 milliseconds fast. It should creep a bit more between now and the end of the year, but not by much. Meanwhile, what we do know is we have officially passed a threshold. This will be the fastest year on the official record. Last year broke the previous record, and this will be the first year that's actually a touch less than a year. Last but not least, folks. Hopefully we recall our letter to the geophysical community back from August. Click the link on spaceweathernews.com near the top to find it. It went over a good deal of the biosphere assault inflicted by a geomagnetic excursion, including minutia from navigation to blood chemistry and more. Today, we add one of the most incredible studies in the field of magnetobiology I've ever seen. The widespread coherence across the sample implies a wider role for the discovery throughout nature, and they found that larvae flow towards higher field intensity, while adults travel the opposite way, towards lower intensity. This tells the babies where to go after they're born, and tells the adults where to go back to mate, taking literally the same roads back that they took as babies themselves, and the Earth's field is about to change all of it. Folks, there are two new Deeper Look episodes for website members. They hit the two stories we went over in yesterday's news and a bit of the day before. The DO events and the disaster cycle, and then also yesterday's bombshell, that a big enough solar flare will EMP the planet without warning, unlike a CME which takes at least a day to arrive. Number of excellent Deeper Looks this month, actually, and folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.